Everything in this video was located on public domain. Welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Right before William left on his vacation, Harry and him had it out so bad, the Queen literally had to step in. Harry's really hurt over the fact that William snubbed him, totally blew off his hug, any kind of affection at the polo match, and people called it, but that's not the problem. According to my journalist friend, he said that all of this stems from the fact that Harry is accusing William of having that story published. Harry accused William of putting the story out there via his people and also accused William of his lack of solidarity. He felt like he should have, this is hilarious, he should have been his brother before future king. Former staff member of Diana's came out and said, you know how disappointed she would be right now considering she always wanted the boys to stick together. She understood what the future held for William, but she just really tried to, to drive it into their heads. No matter what, you should put your blood, your loyalty before any kind of obligations. He accused William of not standing by him during all of this negative backlash against him and Megan. But you know what? He didn't stand by William. It was told to me that the brothers got so heated that people were actually trying to calm them down, step them away from each other, and evidently it is hot and popping over there on the palace grounds. So according to my source, the queen stepped in, got a hold of both the brothers, and asked what the problem was for that moment. So Harry's accusing William of putting that story out there to allow the people to, to see that he does not stand in agreement with what Harry and Meghan's doing. I find that statement to be quite hilarious considering I believe it was Harry who turned his back on the family. Doesn't this kind of prove what a lot of us have been saying for a long time? By Harry even accusing his brother of, of putting this story out there, by allowing this to be so upfront and center to everybody just to protect his reputation, Williams, They've been controlling what the media puts out there for quite a long time. Now, according to my journalist friend, who talks to several of these people on the regular, he's super upset at the fact that this Frogmore Cottage is going to have to have more money added into the renovations. He tried to guard the fact that it was $3 million plus that they've already put into it from the taxpayers' money. This upsets me so bad, but let me tell you what the journalist told me. Over the last several days, it came out that Frogmore Cottage, the yard, is going to have to be redone because the plans that Megan and Harry went forth with are just not up to standard. It's not to the Queen's liking. Now, as it was told to me, the real deal is Megan had an issue with the way the yard looks. They say that she and Harry sat down with a top dog designer, a landscaper, and redid the entire plans for this new yard. None of that shocks me, because do you remember after they had sunk all that money into Archie's uh, nursery? It was right after his birth, quote unquote, that they had redesigned his nursery to fit his vibe, the energy he put off. At this rate, I believe before they're said and done, they'll probably be close to $7 million for the entire renovation of Frogmore Cottage. As it was told to me, the Queen had demanded the brothers figure out a way to get along and make it work because it's the sole responsibility of the brothers to protect the royal family and their position at any and all costs. Now, we know not very much changes the ironclad schedule that Queen Elizabeth sets for sale. She's using political reasons to push back the date of her annual holiday this go round. I feel there's a little more to that and we'll talk about that real soon. Oh, and I meant to share with you guys according to Royal Insiders, William has admitted he will never trust his brother again, whether he's married to Meghan or divorced. That's a huge statement to make. I'll see you guys real soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.